Let God protect you. Pray with me that this day will bring you happiness. May God give us all the goodness in the world. May God protect you, Heavenly Guardian, with His divine shield that knows no boundaries. As you enter this new day, may His watchful eyes be upon you, guiding your every step and surrounding you with the impenetrable armor of His love. May this day bring you happiness beyond human understanding, joy flowing from the very heart of God. May you encounter moments of deep delight in the tapestry of hours and minutes, each of which will be a testimony of the grace and goodness that the Creator of joy has bestowed upon you. My dear friends, today we will all pray to God for a good day. Let Him be beautiful, happy, without failures. On this lovely day, we pray to the Lord that every day will be as good as this one. Let us pray together, all those gathered here. Pray with me, brothers and sisters. Leave a comment under the video, write your favorite prayers, leave intentions for your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, let the news spread, and thanks to this, I will also be able to develop further. Psalm 91 is the best for such days. It will protect us from all dangers. We will find refuge in God there. Simply put, it is the most powerful psalm. It is a vision of security for all who trust in God. Who is in the custody of the Most High and in the shadow of the Almighty he dwells, says to the Lord, My refuge and stronghold, my God in whom I trust. For he himself will set you free from the trap of the hunter and from the pernicious word. He will cover you with his feathers and take refuge under his wings. His faithfulness is the buckler and the shield. You will not be afraid of fear at night, nor by day, a flying arrow, nor the plague that walks in the dark, nor the plague that destroys at noon. Even though a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, it won't happen to you. You will see with your own eyes. You will see the retribution given to sinners. For the Lord is your refuge. You have taken the Most High as your protector. Misery will not come to you, and the blow will not come upon your tent, because he gave orders to his angels about you, that they may keep you in all your ways. They will carry you in their arms, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on serpents and vipers, and you may trample down the lion and the dragon. I will save him because he cleaves to me. I will protect him because he has recognized my name. He will call on me, and I will listen to him, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and give him glory. I will satisfy him with long life, and I will show him my salvation. Now let's pray for Divine Protectorate. I come to you in humility, seeking the shelter and refuge promised in Psalm 91. As I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, may your protective wings surround me, providing a haven of safety and peace. I call you my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. Lord, I entrust my life into your hands, recognizing your faithfulness in saving me from the snares of the enemy and the dangers of life. Guard me, O God, from visible and invisible dangers and protect me from the arrows that fly by day and from the terror that lurks in the darkness of the night. I appeal to the promise of your angels, the ministering spirits sent to watch over your children. Let them camp around me, lifting me above the obstacles of life and preventing harm from approaching my dwelling. In moments of uncertainty and fear, I declare your word my refuge and strength. Give me the wisdom to dwell in your shadow and the courage to face each day with the certainty that your presence is my constant companion. Father, I pray for your deliverance from plague and disease. Cover me with your healing wings, for you are the great physician. Let no disease overcome me, trusting in your divine health and renewal. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper for your word is my shield and buckler. Strengthen my faith, Lord, so that I can persevere in the face of adversity, knowing that 
You are with me and nothing bad will happen to me. As I walk the paths of life, give me discernment and direction. Order my steps according to your will and let your angels lead me on the path of righteousness. Let me walk in confidence, for you have given your angels protection over me. Lord, thank you for your unwavering love and promise of salvation. In times of trouble, be my refuge and fortress, and your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guards my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I offer this prayer to you, trusting in your promises and claiming the divine protectorate mentioned in Psalm 91. In the name of Jesus, my Savior and Redeemer, I pray. Amen. Who is in the custody of the Most High and in the shadow of the Almighty He dwells, says to the Lord, My refuge and stronghold, my God in whom I trust. For He Himself will set you free from the trap of the hunter and from the pernicious word. He will cover you with His feathers and take refuge under His wings. His faithfulness is the buckler and the shield. You will not be afraid of fear at night, nor by day, a flying arrow, nor the plague that walks in the dark, nor the plague that destroys at noon. Even though a thousand will fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, it won't happen to you. You will see with your own eyes. You will see the retribution given to sinners. For the Lord is your refuge. You have taken the Most High as your protector. Misery will not come to you, and the blow will not come upon your tent because he gave orders to his angels about you that they may keep you in all your ways. They will carry you in their arms, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on serpents and vipers, and you may trample down the lion and the dragon. I will save him because he cleaves to me. I will protect him because he has recognized my name. He will call on me, and I will listen to him and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and give him glory. I will satisfy him with long life, and I will show him my salvation. Everyone needs happiness in life, so let's pray to God for a happy and prosperous life. I come to you with a heart overflowing with gratitude for the promises of protection and preservation in Psalm 91. Your word declares that those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Today, I seek this holy abode, longing to be embraced by your divine presence and sheltered by your mighty hand. I refer to the promise of Psalm 91, 11, 12. For he will command his angels to keep you in all your ways and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Lord, send your angels to watch over me, guiding me in the paths of righteousness and protecting me from harm. As I overcome life's challenges, I trust in your promise of deliverance from plague and disease. Your word assures me that nothing bad will happen to me and no plague will come near my dwelling. I stand by this promise asking for your protection over my health and well-being. Father, I ask for your behavior in times of adversity. Shield me from the arrows of the enemy and protect me from the plans of darkness. Let your presence be a stronghold around me, giving me shelter and strength in moments of weakness. My desires for a prosperous life go to you, Lord. Your word declares in Psalm 91:16. I will satisfy him with long life and show him my salvation. I demand the promise of a long and prosperous life in your presence. May your grace rest upon me, leading me to a life filled with your goodness, blessings, and the abundance of your graces. In everything, thy will be done. I place my life in your hands, trusting that your plans for me are plans of hope and prosperity. As I dwell under the shelter of your wings, may I experience the fullness of your protection and the riches of your blessings. I offer this prayer with faith and expectation, knowing that you are a faithful God 
who protects and sustains those who seek your face. In the name of Jesus, my Savior, I pray. Amen. However, you cannot only think about your happiness. Remember that for every person, the most important thing should be family, because they are our light, our happiness, and we go to them with our problems. Therefore, let us pray for them, for their health, so that they may live in health until the end of their days. With gratitude, I approach your throne of grace, recognizing your promises of protection and security in Psalm 91. Dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, I lift up my family before you, praying for your divine health and prosperity. You declared in Psalm 91.10, No evil shall befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. Lord, I claim this promise for my family. Surround us with your protective wings, protecting us from disease, harm, and all forms of adversity. I trust in your word, which assures us, for he will give his angels authority over you to keep you in all your ways. Psalm 91, 11. Send your angels to watch over each member of my family, guarding us in our daily endeavors and protecting us from unseen dangers. Father, I bring before you the health of every member of the family. Your word declares, Because he has loved me, I will save him and raise him on high, because he has known my name. Psalm 91, 14. May our love for you and our trust in your name be a source of deliverance and elevation to a place of health and well-being. I place in your hands the physical, emotional, and spiritual health of my family. Be our healer, Lord, and allow your renewing power to flow through each member. Touch us with your healing hand, bringing wholeness to all areas of ailment and weakness. In times of uncertainty and fear, may our hearts find peace in your presence. Strengthen our faith, O God, so that we can face each day with confidence, knowing that your protection and health are ours. I declare your word over my family. With long life, I will satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Psalm 91, 16. May the promise of longevity and salvation be revealed in the lives of my loved ones as we trust in your mercy and grace. Thank you, Lord, for being our refuge and fortress. In your hands we find safety, and under your wings we discover healing. I offer this prayer in the name of Jesus, our ultimate source of salvation and health. Amen. Let us recall Psalm 91 once again so that we can grasp all the important moments contained in this prayer. It has such a strong message that you have to listen to it more than once to understand it. Who is in the custody of the Most High and in the shadow of the Almighty He dwells, says to the Lord, my refuge and stronghold, my God in whom I trust. For he himself will set you free from the trap of the hunter and from the pernicious word. He will cover you with his feathers and take refuge under his wings. His faithfulness is the buckler and the shield. You will not be afraid of fear at night, nor by day, a flying arrow, nor the plague that walks in the dark, nor the plague that destroys at noon. Even though a thousand will fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, it won't happen to you. You will see with your own eyes. You will see the retribution given to sinners. For the Lord is your refuge. You have taken the Most High as your protector. Misery will not come to you and the blow will not come upon your tent because he gave orders to his angels about you that they may keep you in all your ways. They will carry you in their arms lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on serpents and vipers, and you may trample down the lion and the dragon. I will save him, because he cleaves to me. I will protect him, because he has recognized my name. He will call on me, and I will listen to him, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and give him glory. I will satisfy him with long life, and I will show him my salvation. 
One of the most important intentions of Psalm 91 is protection against visible and invisible dangers. So let's say a prayer about this matter. I come before your throne of grace, acknowledging the promises of protection and refuge found in Psalm 91. Your word assures us, for he will deliver you from the trap of the hunter and from the evil pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you will be safe. His truth is your shield and buckler. You will not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that roams in darkness, nor the plague that desolates at noonday. Lord, I claim these promises for myself and those dear to me. In a world filled with uncertainties and dangers, I seek your divine protection. You are our deliverer, our shield, and our refuge. I entrust every aspect of our lives into your hands. Cover us, O Lord, with your feathers, and let the shadow of your wings be our sanctuary. Guard us from the traps set by the enemy, and shield us from the evil pestilence that may seek to harm us. Your truth is our shield and buckler, a fortress that cannot be shaken. In moments of darkness and fear, may your light dispel the terror of the night. Let the arrows of anxiety and worry be repelled by the strength of your presence. I declare your protection over us, trusting that your angels are commissioned to guard our steps and keep us in all our ways. We stand firm on your promise that no plague, whether visibly or hidden, shall come near our dwelling. You are our refugee and fortress, and in you we find security. In the face of challenges, uncertainties, and unseen dangers, we declare our trust in your unwavering protection. As we navigate the complexities of life, may your truth guide us and your presence go before us. Be our shield in times of conflict and our buckler in moments of vulnerability. We place our trust in you, the Almighty God, our protector and defender. I lift this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer. Amen. Psalm 91 also mentions letting go of fear. As we know, fear can sometimes paralyze us, which sometimes has fatal consequences. Therefore, you should trust God and do everything to eliminate this fear in yourself. So let's pray for this. Let the fear leave us. I come before you with a heart burdened by fear, seeking solace in the promises of Psalm 91. Your word declares, you will not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that roams in darkness, nor the plague that desolates at noonday. Today, I lay my fears at your feet, trusting in your unwavering protection. Lord, I acknowledge that fear has gripped my heart, causing anxiety and uncertainty. But your word assures me that in your presence, fear has no place. I claim the promise that, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Release me from the snares of fear that entangle my mind and soul. Cover me, O Lord, with your feathers, and let the shadow of your wings be my refuge. As I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, I declare my trust in your ability to shield me from every form of fear, visible and invisible. Your truth is my shield and buckler. I hold on to the certainty of your word amidst the storms of life. In moments of darkness, where fear lurks like a shadow, let your light dispel the terror. Help me to face each day with confidence, knowing that your angels are encamped around me. I choose to trust in your promises, believing that no plague or fear shall come near my dwelling. I surrender my anxieties to you, Lord, and ask for your peace that surpasses all understanding to guard my heart and mind. Replace my fears with faith, my doubts with trust, and my worries with assurance in your protective care. I declare that I am free from the chains of fear, 
for your perfect love casts out all fear. As I rest in your presence, may the assurance of your protection be a soothing balm to my troubled soul. I lift this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, my Savior and Deliverer. Amen. The most important thing in faith is to trust God. This is not an easy task for most of us, because how can we trust someone we cannot see, touch, or hear? It's extremely difficult, but it's also a foundation of faith. It is impossible to offer God most of your decisions without trusting Him. Therefore, let us pray for this trust and faith in Him. In the quiet spaces of my heart, I come before you, desiring to deepen my trust in your unwavering love and protection. Your word beckons me with the promise, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Today, I choose to dwell in that secret place, seeking refuge in your boundless grace. Lord, I surrender my fears, uncertainties, and doubts at your feet. As I face the challenges of life, I am reminded that you are my fortress, my refuge, and my shield. Your word declares, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. I echo these words, professing my trust in you, the Almighty and Faithful One. Help me, O God, to trust you with all my heart, leaning not on my understanding but acknowledging you in all my ways. Strengthen my faith, that I may rest in the assurance that your plans for me are plans of hope and a future. As I journey through the unknown, I declare, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I trust in your deliverance from every entanglement and danger. Your promises are my anchor, grounding me in the certainty of your providence. In moments of darkness and uncertainty, let your light guide my steps. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. I choose trust over fear, knowing that your perfect love casts out all fear. Lord, I lean on your promises as my shield and buckler, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. May your angels surround me, guarding and guiding me in the paths of righteousness. I lift this prayer with a surrendered heart, placing my trust in you, the author, and finisher of my faith. In the name of Jesus, my Savior and Redeemer, I pray. Amen. As I journey through the unknown, I declare, Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. I trust in your deliverance from every entanglement and danger. Your promises are my anchor, grounding me in the certainty of your providence. In moments of darkness and uncertainty, let your light guide my steps. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. I choose trust over fear, knowing that your perfect love casts out all fear. Lord, I lean on your promises as my shield and buckler, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. May your angels surround me, guarding and guiding me in the paths of righteousness, I lift this prayer with a surrendered heart, placing my trust in you, the author and finisher of my faith. In the name of Jesus, my Savior and Redeemer, I pray, amen. Who is in the custody of the Most High and in the shadow of the Almighty he dwells, says to the Lord, my refuge and stronghold, my God in whom I trust. For he himself will set you free from the trap of the hunter and from the pernicious word, he will cover you with his feathers and take refuge under his wings. His faithfulness is the buckler and the shield. You will not be afraid of fear at night, nor by day, a flying arrow, nor the plague that walks in the dark, nor the plague that destroys at noon. Even though a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, it won't happen to you you will see with your own eyes. You will see the retribution given to sinners. For the Lord is your refuge. You have taken the Most High as your protector. 
Misery will not come to you, and the blow will not come upon your tent, because he gave orders to his angels about you, that they may keep you in all your ways. They will carry you in their arms, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on serpents and vipers, and you may trample down the lion and the dragon. I will save him, because he cleaves to me. I will protect him, because he has recognized my name. He will call on me, and I will listen to him, and I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and give him glory. I will satisfy him with long life, and I will show him my salvation. Thank you for being with me. I hope that today's prayers helped you understand all the most important things contained in Psalm 91. Comment Amen to strengthen power of prayers. Don't forget to greet your loved ones in the comment and leave a subscription. It will allow share our prayers to more people and also allow me to develop our channel. Thank you and I hope I'll hear from you soon.